Mr. Yeri, the when you the last when we when you spoke the last time you talked about inclusiveness. You talked about production linkages. Mr. Dibo has just brought in the, the side of the markets, the foreign exchange market and the investment market and all of that. But how can we achieve this inclusiveness so that everybody, not us and them or them and us, but everybody working together can move this economy? There are those who believe that there is no way everybody can come in unless the government takes the lead. But how can we get okay. achieve all of this? All right. So maybe we should go back to the pri primer, the primer of education. When you want to read, you know A, B, C. <laughs> when you want to say, you say do re me. We're back. We have to get back to the primer. So what is a currency? Currency has three dimensions. One, it must store value. Two, when you, you take it to buy something that is called uh, pricing of credit, you must know where the credit is. And the last one is called purchasing power parities, which is what foreign exchange is. At the end of the day, if you don't manage your own currency locally, it cannot do anything on the outside. If the way you're managing your currency is so that I can have a million naira on me when I should earn 50,000 naira, I'll find a way to get that one million naira out and I'll go and buy the foreign currency. What you have basically talked about duplicity of many rates. What you're saying basically is that your market is a jungle. If your market is a jungle, there's no rhyme or rhythm. Go back to the basics, like I've told you. How do you make it hold value? What is the pricing of your credit interest rate? And then you can begin to negotiate what the purchasing power parties are. Now, like we said, basically, let's not do the very complex things. Let's do the very simple things. The cost of government is too high for the currency you're printing. And what it means basically is that you're actually spending more for less. You can't create your economy anymore. If you reduce all salaries, I'm, I'm afraid they think they won't allow this, by 75% across board, you'd be surprised that the amount of money you have will still buy the same thing. But you cannot do that if your linkages are not firm, if they're not in place, if your ratios are not right. You can't have a government that spends 60, 70% in running government saying it's running the government. It loses its sovereignty straight away. That's where to begin. Mr. Yore, um, now that we're yeah. talking a lot about um, diversification, oil is not bringing enough money anymore. We need to do look inwards and build our own things and go back to farming. What um, would you advise in that area? How can we make it better? There's a lot of talk okay. around agriculture. Okay. I'll go to you straight away since that's the question you've asked. The most important thing for a farmer is the fact that what he produces is bought. It's not whether he gives a lot of money to create a lot of yams to which nobody uses. Like I spoke, said earlier, 50% of the production is going to waste because you don't have a logistic arrangement. The roads that you have don't link all the towns together. Maximize the use of what you have already, which Lagos State is trying to do, uh, bring the KB. And if you're amazed that some of these demands on the outside will disappear. But you can't do it just by crystallizing and making arguments and comparing yourself with economies like in America and the rest of them. You're not their size. You cut yourself to the size and slowly you grow to that level. You can't want to drink um, champagne at the price of Coca-Cola. You've got to make those hard choices. And I'm saying, like I said earlier on, for you to build an economy, there's something called social enterprise. Those are the things you do in your community to make it hold together. I told you about the food bank, that's one. Another one is that you should build your houses, not get every small house we build by one foreign company or the other. If you don't do those things, you have no production in base. But the only way to make that happen is to allow your budget, which is a statement of intention, to actually have line items that can be monitored. Like I said earlier, what does the president want in every 70 and 70 local government in Nigeria? Okay. Let him tell himself that. Okay. 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 What does the government want in their local government? Those are things you do. If you don't do those things, you're on a high trip to nothing. All right. Let, let's come back to the studio. Um, a lot of experts have been, economic experts have been talking about, okay, let government go back, review these 41 items that were excluded for Forex and, and see how, because this is putting a lot of strain mm -hmm. on, on, on the Naira. And, you know, some people have also said that there seem to be incoherence of policies. Mm -hmm. The president wants this, the CBN governor wants that, and the Ministry of Finance wants the other. So, 
in 2017, what would you like to see to ensure that this budget of uh, recovery and growth, we actually are able to implement it and, of course, get the country running? Mm -hmm. Strategy, one word, strategy, one word again, strategy. Strategy is for you to sit down with your people and sing and speak with one voice and from the same hymn book. The physical and there's a monetary and there are the MDAs and all. Everybody must sit in, you are not going to work in silos. If you do in 2017, you would be a disaster waiting to happen. It, it happens to without corporates or to nations. So I'm looking forward to a more strategic governance where government and senior government, whether it's the president or the vice, has a, 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 a whole loop around their critical uh, development strategy are linked from both the Ministry of Finance to budget to CBN and to various uh, um, MDAs that drive the economy. If you do that, it will be an, you see, you have policy somersault whenever that is it's not thought through properly. My take is that you may have all the, what did they say that all, you know, the route to hell is led by good intentions. The most important thing for them is to sit down and create those critical items they want to drive. I said before, four, two, and one. They'll miss the one. So go for the second, the mid midterm, and then go for the fourth. So that you'll be able to, people will be able to say, you know what, there was a government that came in mm. in 2015. Right. Mr. Ire, as we, in closing, what would you expect to see in 2017? Well, like I said, for you to, you have to do what's more called import substitution. In other words, all of those things you used to import, you have to do them locally. And I think Lagos State Government and Kirby are starting. By the time you do very many items like that, you find that your, your bill for foreign exchange will reduce and there will be some measure of involvement. Once people are engaged, I think Lagos State has something called civic engagement. Once you have that and you're engaging properly and there's, you cut wastage, it's not a difficult thing. We'll turn around quickly. Thank you. All right. Mr. Adibo. Well, as, just as I said, I think very strongly that, um, you know, you mentioned something about agriculture, which I, I need to quickly chip in. If people begin to do businesses, they should look for export opportunities. Don't wait for the CBN. That's why there's a pressure on it. Let your business have an export as an export orientation. Okay. Have, in other words, not only do you serve people here, your business should be able to end the foreign exchange. exchange yourself. All right, thank you. Mr. Pascal Dibu is a business and financial analyst. And Charles Yuri joined us from the United Kingdom. He's a financial analyst. Thank you for sharing your thoughts with us. Sunrise will be back in a moment. Please don't go away.